dominion is so important and taking authority in the world is so important that God spoke it into Adam and Eve. This is Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. And God blessed them. God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of the earth and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for me. And to every beast of the earth and to every fowl of the air and to everything that creepeth upon the earth wherein there is life I have given every green herb for me. And it was so. And God saw everything that he had made and behold it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Dominion is so important and taking authority in the world is so important that God spoke it into Adam and Eve. And the same way that he spoke into Adam and Eve, if you read the scriptures closely, you can see that he spoke it into Abraham, he spoke it into Isaac, he spoke it into Jacob, he spoke it into 12 tribes of Israel, he spoke it into David, and he spoke it into Jesus. And Jesus spoke it into the church, is that we're actually called as individuals, because he didn't call them as a church, he called them as a couple, and he spoke to them individually, like he spoke to both of them. So he called them and he said, that I want you to have dominion. I want you to have authority and power in the world. So the word dominion in the English language, it means to rule, to dominate, to control, to master, to put under subjection. In this particular scripture that we're reading in Genesis chapter one, verse 28, when it talks about dominion, it says, and God blessed them, and God said unto them, be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. When it says to have dominion, it uses a, he a Hebrew word that's very s similar to the English word uh, called radar. And, and what that word means, it means to have rule, to dominate. It means to be able to tread upon or to stand on its neck. So when it's talking about having dominion is talking about us having power in this world now the concept of dominion there's actually two parts to the concept of dominion we have the word rada which talks about the power of dominion and there's another word um, in hebrew that's called missal and missal is the position of dominion not only do human beings have the power of dominion Human beings have the position of dominion. So they're the boss of the world. So here's a catch. What happens when you, you have the position, but you don't have the power? When you have the position of a leader and you don't have the power. I worked in a workplace some time ago, it was a shelter, and we had a leader who had the position. But he didn't have the skills, he didn't have the social ability, the emotional intelligence. He didn't, he didn't have what was needed to be the leader, but he had the position of a leader. So when you have a leader who has a position, but they don't have the skills or the ability, what they do is that they destroy the organization. So what happened when sin entered into human beings is they retained the position of leadership, but they lost the ability and the skill to lead the world because you, you need God to help you to lead this world or I can even put it another way is you need God to help you to control and to rule yourself if we don't have God to help us then we're in trouble so when you're talking about dominion dominion ultimately is the ability and the skill to lead and to have authority in the world that's ultimately what the mean is, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna broaden it out a little bit more. But dominion is the skill and the ability to lead things on the earth. So when we understand this, it causes us to see life differently. 